The Daily Aztec is here in front of the Administration Center in downtown San Diego, and we're ready to talk to people about their thoughts on Prop 16 amidst the ongoing Yes on 16 rally. Students viewed the passage of Prop 209 and the termination of affirmative action programs as a signal not to apply. This is Sarah Farouk. She is a recent graduate of UC Berkeley and one of nearly a dozen speakers here to support the passage of Proposition 16. Prop 16 is an initiative that will appear on the November 2020 ballot that would repeal Proposition 209 if adopted. Prop 209, which was passed in 1996, currently prohibits California's governments and public universities from discriminating against or giving preferential treatment to anyone based on race, sex, color, ethnicity, or national origin. Prop 209 ignores all of those systemic inequalities by implementing this blanket policy that overlooks the different positioning of underrepresented minorities in higher education. The passage of Prop 16 and subsequent repeal of Prop 209 would allow for affirmative action in universities, which is a process to increase representation of minority populations who have historically been marginalized. Affirmative action is exactly what it sounds like. There is no way for us to combat the generations of oppression in America without going directly to its main sources and distributing equal opportunities and power to the ones it's left behind. Opponents of Prop 16 argue the repeal of Prop 209 does not necessarily mean minority populations will find more representation, as they could theoretically be discriminated against more. The voters at this event we spoke with disagreed. I understand that when you first read it, it kind of makes you think, oh, like, they're going to discriminate against people, they're going to pick and choose what races. But I would tell them to really think about their workplace, to really think about their education, well, where they, where they, um, what institution that they're in, and really consider who they see there. The message at the heart of the Yes on 16 campaign is that affirmative action will rectify the lack of diversity seen in many public universities. Supporters argue that due to the historic underrepresentation of minority populations, universities should be able to give everyone, regardless of background, a fair shot at an education. And as a graduate of UC Berkeley, I saw, like, you could say 1.9, 1.8% of the entire campus was black students. And so that small percent just tells you how much underrepresented minorities are on campuses. And you know, really need to study what affirmative action has really done to our communities and, and, and the things that it has brought with them. At the end of the rally, after supporters handed out signs and posed for photos, we heard from many we spoke with that even as the city quiets down and the microphones are turned off, systemic issues of racism still persist. I think it's really just a matter of trying to understand what exactly the problem is and how it may not be a problem for you, how, but it may be for somebody else and just going back and trying to recognize that privilege. The students we spoke with today expressed their support for Prop 16, but the voters will get to decide on November 3rd. Make sure you're registered to vote to make your voice heard. And with The Daily Aztec, I'm Patrick Doyle.